Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Lost Portal on iPad with me, Jalanon, at Lunar Nebula LLC Gaming. So, I decided, let's go back to the aggressive deck, just known as Fire. And I have changed some things up. I've actually made the curve a little heavier towards higher cost cards. I put this guy in instead of the other dwarf that summons more dwarves. I got rid of the low cost dwarves since hopefully we won't need to worry as much about low cost cards with the increased number of aeons we get and other than that i put in a fiery drake got rid of one of the trolls i've also included this wasteland giant i put in more logic storms and yeah basically have a couple more card draw cards that are colorless and we've kept Boiling Blood, but honestly, that's probably the card to get rid of. And one more thing might fit. The Balrock's Ring. So we'll see. This does make the deck a little heavier for an aggressive deck, but we'll try it out. Alright, Enseer. Let's see if you can... See, this is coming. I don't know. It's pretty aggressive. It's a red aggressive deck. And yeah, yeah, let's just buff that and draw another card. Okay, we'll save our destruction spells. Okay, well, at least it survived. That's good. Hmm, draw two cards and gain life. That sounds like a plan. Now, because we have Boiling Blood, I'm more inclined to play the green Aeon cards at first. Uh, if we ever get Logic Storm, I'll try and play this guy. Or I'll play this next turn. Hmm. We will see. Alright. I think that's a Moonlight Warrior. Oh no! Well, that happened. Hmm. We do have Boiling Blood. So, you know what? We'll do this. And then I'm actually going to play the Warmonger. And then we're going to blow that up. Because we can! Yes, the aggression is rising. Or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. The Rise of the Warmonger? Maybe that wouldn't be the best movie ever. I don't know. What would be a good movie? Boiling Blood. Okay. And forward, my minions. Forward. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing alright. Oh, no. Uh, well, less alright. Thankfully, this guy's not armored, and we have Dragon Strike. Eh, we can play another Aeon. Hmm. And then we can get a Giant, or we could recklessly attack a lot. Hmm. Reckless Anger probably isn't worth it at the moment. So we'll block one of his minions and put a Giant one of ours. Yep. Though, hmm, I probably should have gotten it closer to the Warmonger so it could get buffed. That's okay. Bad positioning on my part. Hmm. If this thing gains plus one attack, and we can still play this, which we can't, okay. Well then, that changes things. Um, let's buff that. Let's suboptimally play this deck since I've forgotten all the strategies that I once advocated. Oh dear. No! Well, that's a copy. Hmm. Play this. Force a discard with one of our sub attributes, slash sub abilities. And let's get angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Ho ho ho. Okay. Awesome. Double digits. On the overkill. Ah, we missed you, aggressive deck. I'm sure the viewers agree. I don't know. I don't know. The control deck was really fun. But it started to lose consistency, even though I had a bunch of card draw mechanics in there. Probably because I don't have enough Aeons at the moment when I start. So, yeah. For now... Back to the originals. Back to the classics. 
And let's see, nothing in their discard pile, so we'll wait to play Death Undone. But one day, death, you shall be undone. And I guess if you're a Christian, death has already been undone by Jesus. So, yeah. I'm sure he'd approve of this card. Just an opinion. Okay. Hmm. We've got somebody that can give Rush. That's pretty good. And actually, he can take that out. Okay, then. Well, let's do that. And then we do have enough slots. Yeah, so I can draw two cards. And unless my minion dies, I shouldn't overdraw. In case that happens, we're going to move this card over here. So then we lose Death Undone, rather than one of our better cards. Ooh, let's play this card so we can prepare for Boiling Blood. Okay, then we take out Avenging Force. Now we can resurrect it if we want. Which, you know what? I think we do want. Who doesn't want it, honestly? Hmm. Though, I would like to use all my red Aeons first. I don't have a Warmonger yet. We're going to play it like this. Just prepare for the Warmonger. Uh, Death Undone will be a random placement, so that is one argument against playing that card, but who cares? Oh, and it was perfect. In case we get a Warmonger. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, this deck is very heavily tilted towards getting the Warmongers and annihilating your opponent quickly. Hmm. Now the question is... Ambush Dragon or not Ambush Dragon? Do I worry about two damage to the face? Nah. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. We'll save the spider. And actually, yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay, we got some blue cards. Oh, blue cards. Truly an interesting combo. Okay, let's take out the rogue. Hello, dark rogue. Are you an insane X person? 90s? Rogue? X-Men? Nobody? Nobody? Okay. Yeah, that theme song, though. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yes, it was addictive. Hmm. We'll play the Warmonger. I'd rather not risk it getting disrupted or anything, but why not? Uses all the Aeons, keeps us on curve, buffs our other stuff. You know. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Good thing we have two more in this deck. Alright, I really wanted to buff the Marauder, but... Oh well. Hmm. We can use Death Undone, I think. Right? No, not until after we kill this little Sage Familiar. Okay. Well, we'll prepare with our Marauder here. And continue the fight. Because, yeah, why not? That Reckless Assault ability, though. Okay. Well then, we don't have any Aeons in hand, so the Magmorlock's ability is less good, or better, depending on... Yeah, yeah. You know what? But, we can play this, and Death Undone. Yeah, okay, that worked out. Boom. Okay. And that used all of our Aeons. And hopefully we'll draw another card when the Sage Familiar dies pretty soon here. Hmm. I do want to draw more cards. Can I get an Aeon? No? Fine. I'll play this card, though. Oh, Warmonger, we missed you. Because of double damage with Reckless Assault. It's a great combo. Yep. Okay. It survived. Hmm. We definitely want to play an Aeon. Okay, and I can nuke one of those creatures. But as we know from our experience with the red control deck, the Ogre Warlord is so cool that, you know what, let's just play it. Just play it. 
And we'll continue to buff something like the Marauder. Because it gains plus four damage, technically. Because the plus two gets doubled. So Marauders are great to buff. That's right, Reckless Marauder. Double digit over two. All right. Hmm. Onward. Hmm. That's a nice red carpet. Hopefully the Sentinel Spider has been cleaning this carpet, you know, doing its job, taking pride in its work, watching over this creepy castle of Rienta's Tower. I mean, why not? Sentinel Spider, you did good work. But I do need to get to, you know, the top of the tower, so please move aside. We can play a nice card game, talk about things, laugh about life, you know. Learn to coexist. Slash, let me through, please. Okay, we got a cool dwarf character. We're going to place him to the right of the warmonger. So, that way the warmonger can buff it before it attacks in the future. In the future. Uh-oh. So this thing can grow incredibly out of proportion and destroy your day. So we're going to destroy it with Lava Blast. It's a blast, I promise. But not for your opponent. Or for you, if it is being used against you. Wow. So yes, Warmonger. If it doesn't get countered, you're golden. Booyah. Oh, aggro deck. Sometimes. Okay, archaic one. Good card. Ooh, a storm dragon. Hmm. I don't remember. Arashi Ryu? Something like that in Japanese, maybe? Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, at least it used a kill something with seven health card on something with one health. Or two, but yeah. Protected one of our cards, like the Warmonger. Truly, you were a champ. Ah, oh, Warmonger. Speak of the Warmonger, and he will be there to declare war, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe that's not for the best. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's not for the best. Okay, Firestorm. Three damage. Hmm. If this thing gets buffed, it would survive. And if it dies, it gives us more cards. So either way, we win. Okay, more cards. Oh, no! Ah, uh, the... One of the sub-abilities is to draw a card upon the death of your creatures. So we overdrew by one. <laughs> Goodbye, Warmonger. At least you lived in the hand? Briefly? I don't know. Okay, Aeon. We needed you, Warmonger. Get out there and do your work. Go monger some wars for us, I suppose. Hmm. So Boiling Blood is the least likely to activate out of these cards. So we'll put that on the left to get rid of it. Aha. Finally some Aeons. Finally the Ogre Warlord. Ooh. And you'll continue to grow. Even opposing enemy cards will make it grow, which is just beautiful. As long as it doesn't get removed, it is truly the strongest. Eventually. Probably. Please don't silence it. Okay, so I'm thinking of the future. Giving our guys boiling blood would be good. And then we can reckless anchor next turn. Or heck, can we do more? Nah, that'll work though. Yoink. Okay, and then we still have enough for the Aeon Siphon, which wasn't enough. Okay. Well, Ogre Warlord, welcome back to the table. Um, we'll play another card, I guess. What do we want to play? Draw two cards, gain life. Nah, we'll just do this. And go ahead and win. Yoink. So, Arashi Ryu, the Storm Dragon. Ooh, is it colorless? Maybe a new card. Let's see if it works with this deck at all. Hmm. Aha, there you are. Thunderous Dragon, when it's a card. Okay. 
Dragon Fear. Wow, the enemy creature with the lowest life loses five life. So that is really nice, actually. Hmm. And if there's just a giant creature on the board and nothing else, you deal five damage to it. That seems really good. Yoink, you're going in. All right, then. Here are the stairs. Okay. Another enemy awaits you as you climb higher up the tower steps. Step. Step. Bone wizard. I think he's got a bone to pick with me. Hmm. Was that a bad pun? That's for you to decide. Me? I just make him. <laughs> oh, we want the Aeon. We'll put the Aeon Siphon over there in case of any weird mechanics that make us overdraw. Okay, we got that. Reckless Marauder, you're going to go over here. Ooh, and you gained Rush. Excellent. Okay, we do have two Warmongers in hand. Ah, uh, well, that was probably the best card to get stolen, maybe? Other than it would have given me a Red Aeon, or play Warmonger. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the best card to get stolen. You thieving little imp. Hmm. I can't stay mad at you, thieving imp. Well, I guess I can. Yoink. Well, at least we got more creatures on the board. And we're dealing more damage. Not too concerned about the imp. Far more concerned about this. Hmm. The zombie horde. And it gains plus one, plus one at the start of each turn. So you want to kill it. And I can't at the moment. So, yeah, that's bad. Hmm. I just need one more Aeon to play Thunderous Dragon. And, okay. Bone Wizard just nuked the field. I could draw two cards. Hmm. What is the weakest card here? I guess you, Magma Warlock. Hmm. Yeah. Aeon, please. Thank you. Okay. Now, well, Thunderous Dragon is better to play later. So, we'll do this. Okay. So, we can kill that. Ooh, actually, we might win. Hmm. Let's just try this out and see what happens. Nope. Nope. No rush. Really cool, though. Okay, ooh, Balrog's ring, just because it's pretty. And we will put a ring on it, of course. Because we appreciate the warmonger, and we want it to stick with us. And know that it truly belongs here. Or something, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a Moonlight Warrior. Another Serpent Guard. Ooh, what's this person? A Verge Shaman. Hmm. On the verge of discovery, I suppose. Discovering that we will beat the Verge Shaman, hopefully. Yes, maybe. Probably. I have hope. Ah, it's a very similarly colored deck. Red and green. Okay. Well, hmm. You are in here in case I need more Aeons. So I'm going to save you for sure. Boiling Blood is once again my least useful card at the moment. So you will remain in that slot for now. Okay, nothing in their discard pile. Oh, I take that back. Dormal. Come and guard me, please. I have cookies. Though I'm not on the dark side, I promise. Probably. I think. I mean, I'm a red A on deck, I'm not a black A on deck. I don't summon skeletons too often. Unless it's at the beginning. Um, hmm. There's no real point in playing this Lava Blast on any of the creatures at the moment. Though, yeah, okay. We can get ready to kill that Poison Drake, or Toxic Drake. Hmm. A Reckless Marauder, or a Warmonger could kill it. Okay, Aeon Siphon is also useful. Yeah, okay. This is going poorly. Vert Shaman, please have mercy. Let me up the stairs. 
Okay. Nope. Okay, but now we can play things. That's good. Hmm. I could play this guy. Get rid of the poisonous dude. So I will. Uh oh. Well, that's not as good. Hmm. Great for him. Or her. Hmm. Play that. Hmm. I can't kill anything in one hit. Lava Blast could, but then I can't play any cards. I think playing a card is better here. I'm thinking of taking a risk with the Warmonger here. Okay, that worked out. Thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to get rid of damage at the moment, rather than focus on creating more damage. Balrock's Ring would be good. Also playing a Marauder. Hmm. Yes, I think this will work. Yep. Now, do I want to give it to the Marauder or to the Warmonger? If we keep the Warmonger on, then I think that will keep the damage flowing more effectively. Ooh, a Brute Shaman card. That looked like it buffed pretty heavily. Target creature gains plus one, plus three, and you gain two life at the start of each turn. That's pretty good. Hmm. Let's use this card. Alright. And... Do I want to kill anything? I still can't kill anything. Hmm. So, no. No, I do not. Alright. And I gained plus two back. Plus two health. Uh-oh. Okay. Now I need to worry about killing things. Hmm. Alright, I think... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here. I can still play the Marauder. But it costs all for my green... Oh, wait. There we go. Problem fixed. Um, now I have Rush on it, and I can attack twice with it, and that's almost enough. Oh, well. So hopefully, maybe even the Cinder Mage plus Lava Blast can take out this troll. We will see. Ah, and it buffed the dwarf. Okay. Hmm, that's probably better for long-term survival for my opponent, but that troll is going to die. And that is probably the end of this game. Alright. Hmm. Let's block our giant dwarf friend. And move on with this game. There we go. And overwhelming damage. And wow. Yeah, okay. Reckless Marauders for the win. Once again, probably one of the better three cost Aeon cards in this game. Oh, Reckless Marauder. You're so reckless, but we love you for it. Ah, more stabs. Re-enters tower level four. You pass strange magical experiments on either side as you climb higher. Okay. So it looks like an ant and a spider. Hello, Sentinel Spider. Once again, thank you for your work keeping this tower clean. But you are creepy, and I don't like you at the moment. Because you're blocking me, and I don't know why. Why, Spider? Why? Well, I don't know. I guess I invaded. So that's probably a good reason, but still. Is it really? Hmm. We'll do this. Ooh, I can use the dragon. Why not? When a thunderous dragon makes a weapon attack thing. I don't know. Yeah, I ran out of ideas. <laughs> oh well, we buffed it with the Warmonger, and both my creatures are able to regen health, which is pretty good. 
We got an A on there. Spacing for the Warmonger, just in case. And we've got a Destruction card. Hmm. Destruction. For no reason. Since we already went. Well, Sentinel Spider, thank you for letting us through. And for playing this card game with me. Dear viewer, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.